All right, we're gonna get started standing. I'm gonna do a like a bit of standing work through all of these classes because you know we're stuck at home. I think a lot of us are sitting a lot. Maybe I'm projecting, but I don't know. I think we're all sitting more than usual at our computers. So you guys are gonna walk your feet wider than your shoulders, maybe about a leg's length apart. And we're just gonna start with a little squat. And up. you can keep it shallow, just a little down and up like that. You can go a little further down if you're feeling a little more loose or warm. You can do hands on hips, or if you want to get your arms and shoulders warmed up, you can do arms out like you like that. Let's do this three more times. And then you're going to come into a little squat and just kind of bounce here. Just let your weight start to sink into your feet. I can see all of my text notifications. I'm pretty sure that she is delivering right now. <laughs> which she did a Pilates class with me yesterday at noon, and then of course she went into labor. And then as you inhale, you're gonna bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, little bounce. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, little bounce. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, arms up. You're going to keep them there. Grab a hold of your right wrist and you're going to stretch up and over to the left side. Next, inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, stretch up and over left. Right, I mean, grabbing your left wrist. Inhale up to center. Exhale, lower your arms down. You're going to bring hands to your hips. Come back into a squat. We're going to get feet warmed up a little bit more and your legs warmed up even more. So keeping your hips still, you're gonna lift your left heel, set it down. Lift your right heel, set it down. Just alternating. You're gonna try to keep your hips from swaying like this, so they're staying fairly stable. Let's go two more times each way. Set your heels down, stand up tall. That's a little wiggly today. And then come back into your squat. If this next one is challenging for balance, if you feel off balance, you can just do one heel at a time like we, like we were just doing. You're gonna stay low, lift both heels, lower both heels. Lift both heels, lower both heels. You're gonna try to roll through your feet, so lift your heels. Go two more times. Set your heels down, stand up tall, and then you're gonna walk your feet in. We'll do that side stretch one more time. So next, inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, stretch up and over left again. And you have an option to cross your right leg over left, kind of letting the hips pop out to the side for a little stretch through that side hip flexor as well as side body. On your next inhale, come up to center. Switch the, cross your leg, uh, switch the arms first and then stretch up and over left. Right, I keep doing that on the side. Cross your left leg over right, optionally. Sticking the hips out to the side for that flexor stretch. On your next inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, lower your arms down. You're gonna walk your feet out again, about shoulder width, a little wider than that. Bring your arms out into a T. Stay tall, and you're gonna start to side bend to your left. And then up to center, side bend right. And up to center, let's do that twice more each way. You're gonna support the weight of your torso, the weight of your ribs with your side waist, your obliques. Up to center, one more time. Drop your arms down, and then you'll walk your feet in. So let's do a little, we're gonna do running in place, but standing upright, so it's a little more balanced. My mat's really squishy, it makes it a little harder to balance on if you have that same situation. You can try on or off, for whatever degree of challenge you wanna give yourself. So with your feet about hip joint distance apart, you can do whatever with your arms, hands, and your hips, let them drop, even your arms like that, to give your shoulders a little workout. You're gonna lift one heel up, 
press the floor away with your straight leg and switch and switch and as you do this if you want to start to get your feet awake for me i actually like a like a harder surface because it gives me a more true feel of the soles of my feet versus the mat kind of contouring to my feet and you'll lift through the arch as you switch you want the feeling almost like you're kind of swiping your foot back like if you were to do that kind of action as you switch energy of the body goes directly up You're going to go one more time each way. And then set both heels down. Again, balance. If it's feeling good, you'll try this. If not, just go back to the um, one leg at a time like you were doing. Just pick a point to look at that's not moving, like not me. And as you inhale, you're going to lift your heels. Exhale, you'll lower. Again, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale to lower. Rolling through the feet. Option to use the arms, inhaling arms up, exhaling as you lower. Again, inhale arms up, exhale arms lower. As you do this, you're gonna to try to make your weight go directly up, minimizing that forward motion as much as you can. Let's do that two more times. Let's end on a good note, mine was bad. And then drop your legs down. So again, the idea of using your feet, we're gonna do a little marching. So it's like a 50-50 effort between your hip flexors here and your um, feet to lift your knee up and switch, switch. Again, you can do hands on hips, you can let them drop, you can do arms in a T. So you're really pushing the floor away with your foot. Roll through the foot, repel your leg away, repel it away. So I know sitting, we always think our hip flexors get really tight. They do, at the same time they also get weak. They're just kind of sitting in a slightly compressed place. The less bent you keep your knee, right, instead of doing this type of thing, a little flamingo thing, the more you keep your knee unbent like that, the more weight your hip flexor has to lift. Sometimes it can help loosen them up when we engage muscles. Or at least teach them how to relax a little bit. Let's go two more times each way. And then set your feet down. We're gonna do a little opposite action, more of that flamingo, flamingo thing I was talking about. So you're gonna sway your foot back like that, like you're trying to keep your butt. We're getting hamstrings warmed up and integrating your calves and soles of the feet again. A little butt kick. Remember, I used to do these running across the soccer field when I was like 10 years old. You're trying to reach your toenails to the ceiling as you do this. So you're pointing your feet a lot. I'm kind of kicking my couch. Let's go one more each way. Then you can set your feet down. Let's head onto your mat. So I got my nose room. And adjust my camera. So you can lay on your back. And let's bring legs about hip joint distance apart. And we'll bring hands behind your head. Let's start with a little curl to warm up the abs. Bring your elbows slightly away from the floor so you feel your chest relax. Let your head drop into the palms. And as you exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower. Exhale to curl. Inhale, lower. Go two more. And then from there, bring your legs into tabletop one at a time. Next exhale, you'll curl up and hold it. Let's do toe taps. Keep your knee bent at 90 degrees. Exhale, drop your knee. Inhale, fold it up. Exhale, drop the other knee. Inhale, fold it up. Keep alternating legs. And as you do this, you want to only lower your leg down as far as your spine stays stable. 
and you're not letting your back arch like that anymore. Go one more each way. And then lower your chest down. You'll set your feet back down on your mat and we'll do a little kind of supine marching here. So again, next exhale, you'll come into your curl. Hold your curl. Next exhale, fold one knee to tabletop, set it down. Exhale, fold the other knee in. Inhale, set it back down. You can also reverse your breathing, just as long as you're breathing, you're good here. We're gonna go one more each way. And then lower your chest down. Let's bring legs back to tabletop. Again, one at a time. Next exhale, again, you'll curl up. We're gonna do double toe taps. Exhale, drop both knees. Inhale, fold them up. Exhale, drop both knees. Inhale, fold them up. Again, dropping your knees only as far as your spine stays stable, either in neutral or you could be in more of an imprint if your back is feeling a little tight. Do that two more times. And then you guys can lower out of your curl. Straighten your legs out on your, actually let's do a little stretch first. Walk your feet as wide as your mat with your knees bent. You guys can still stay on your back. We'll do a windshield wiper stretch as you exhale, drop both knees to one side. Inhale, bring them up to center. Exhale, drop them over to the other side. You can let your hips rotate here. If you want to look away from your knees, that can be a nice neck stretch. As you inhale, bring your legs back up to center. Straighten your legs out on your mat. You're going to flex your feet and then slightly press your legs down into the mat. We're going to do um, curls here. If this bothers anybody's back, you can go back to your knees bent like this. We're just going to do a little bit of leg movement later on. Bring your hands behind your head if you want a little more challenging option for your core. Arms overhead. And you'll curl and lower. Or you'll curl like this and lower. Let's go three more. I'm going to turn my fan off. It's getting a little cold. When you finish that last one, lower back down, stay in that same position. We're going to lift your legs one at a time. Uh, if you want your more challenging core, again, arms overhead will be a little more challenging for core. Flex your feet again, press them downward into the mat. Next exhale, curl, hover one leg, lower. Curl, hover the leg, and lower. Go one more time, lower down. You're gonna bring your legs up to the ceiling. Soft bend in the knees, okay? Just have your legs in a place where your knees can be over your hips. Point your feet, exhale to curl. Inhale, open the legs. Exhale, bring them back in. Inhale to open, exhale, bring them in. Pulling the legs in from the inner thighs. Two more. Bring your legs in, lower out of your curl. We'll alternate opening one leg at a time. You're gonna try to keep your stationary legs stationary and your hips still so they're not rolling side to side. Next exhale again, curl up. Inhale, open one leg. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, open the other leg. Exhale, bring it in. The further out your leg goes, the more work you're gonna feel in your obliques, maintaining your pelvic stability.
Let's go one more time each way. And then lower out of your curl. You can give knees a little hug in the chest. You can sway your legs side to side. That feels nice on your low back. And just push your legs around a little bit. That can help release your SI joint. And then set your feet down. Uh, we're gonna do leg circles. I don't really have that much space here, so I'm gonna be like flipping my body around so that I have space. You guys don't have to do that. So you're gonna flex one foot, press it down into the mat. Straighten the other leg to the ceiling as much as you can. Again, starting with your knee over your hip. Keeping your hips as stable as you can. Circle your leg. Let's start across first. Across, out, around, and up. Across, out, around, and up. So you're moving through a little internal, then external rotation as you circle the leg. One more in this direction. And then switch. Open, circle it down, across, and up. Open, down, across, and up. Oh, one more. And then you guys are just gonna switch legs. I'm gonna scoot myself around so I have space to move my leg. Other leg up to the ceiling. Start with it again, going down, out, around, and up. Down, out, around, and up. One more in this direction. And then you'll switch. Open, circle it down, across, and up. One more. And then you can set your feet down. Let's take another one more windshield wiper stretch, dropping knees to one side or the other. Um, option to cross your bottom foot over your top thigh to create a little more traction, just letting the thigh bone lengthen away from the ribs. <clears throat> and then uncross the legs if they were crossed, sway them over to the other side. Again, option to cross your bottom foot over the top thigh. And then uncross the legs, bring them back into center. Walk your feet about hip joint distance apart. Let's do a little bridging. Um, I always like to do bridges with my arms up because usually my chest gets a little tighter. It'll try to help. Arms up keeps your chest or helps keep your chest and your shoulders and neck a little more relaxed. So let's do. Um, so we'll give you guys the option of doing an articulating bridge, which is rolling up one vertebrae at a time, which could be a nice back stretch. If flexion, that rounding motion bothers your back, we'll just do a neutral bridge in which you hinge directly up, keeping your spine in the same shape. So take a breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna come up into your bridge. I'm gonna do articulating, rolling my spine up the best I can, one vertebrae at a time. Little breath in at the top. Exhale to roll down. Again, exhale to roll up. A little breath in at the top. Exhale to roll back down. You guys can keep doing these on your own breath cycle. If you're doing your hinge, your movement's probably going to be a little bit faster. That's fine. Keeping your weight a little more on the heels here. Let's do one more bridge. We're going to hold this bridge up. Now everybody's going to keep their spine in the same neutral shape. Just drop your hips down halfway, press them up. Drop them down halfway, press them up. So you're slightly releasing your glutes to let the hips drop, engaging them to press them back up. Two more.
and then you can roll or hinge down. We're gonna try that with one leg up in tabletop, that hinge down and up. If that's a little iffy on your back or your body in any way, you can just go um, into marching, bringing one knee up at a time. So take a breath in. Again, exhale, you'll come up into your bridge. And then bring one leg into tabletop, and then you'll hinge your hips down halfway, press them up. Hinge them down halfway, press through that heel to lift them up. Letting your sitting bone drop, pressing it back up. Two more. Set your foot down, shift your weight into your other hip, into your other foot, other leg to tabletop. Hinge the hips down halfway, press them up. Hinge. Press, three, two, and one. Set your foot down, hinge or roll down. Give your knees a little heavy in the chest. Again, you can do a little rock side to side. And then we'll take a hamstring stretch. So we reach one leg up to the ceiling. And flex your foot for a little calf stretch. You can grab behind your thigh or behind the calf. Just make sure your knee is really straight. Let's switch legs. You guys can set your legs down. You're going to come up into a seated position for mermaid stretch. So if this is okay on knees and hips, you can sit in this classical Z sit like that. If that's not comfortable on knees and hips, you can sit cross-legged. You can also sit with your legs out. A little bit in the knee, the knees flopped out like that is okay too. If you feel like you can't get right up on your sit bones if you've got your legs stretched in a straight position. And then if you're in this position, Excuse me, bring your hand onto the mat on the side of your body to which your knees are looking at. Then you'll open your other arm up into a T position with the palm up so your arm is externally rotated. Inhale, you're going to side bend. Exhale to come up. Inhale to side bend. Exhale to come up. You're trying to keep as little weight in this hand as you can so you're supporting the weight of your torso from the side body. Do that two more times. And then take that side bend one more time. Hold it there. You're going to rotate towards the floor, setting your hands down. You can scoop the belly in and do a rounded back position like that. Or you can walk your hands out and take a little bit more of a longer spine stretch. And then walk your hands back. If you move to rotate back, and then come up. Most of the sides. Open the other arm up, externally rotated palm up. Inhale to side bend. Exhale to come up. Again, inhale to bend. Exhale back up. Do that two more times. And then one more time. Take your side bend, hold it there. Again, you'll rotate your chest to the floor and then either rounding the spine, scooping the belly in, or you can walk your arms out. Oh, take a longer spine stretch. Just gotta get back up in. And walk your hands in if you walked them out. Turn back this direction. And then you'll come up to your seated position. Sweep your legs around and you're gonna come into a bent knee position. Seated upright like this, we're gonna do mini roll downs. So you can reach your arms out ahead of you. Let the shoulders relax away from ears. 
And as you exhale, scoop the belly in. You're gonna do a little roll back, like you're trying to get your spine to imprint on the mat. One vertebrae at a time, but you never really make it down that far. Scoop the tummy in and you'll round and come up. Keep going like that. If your back doesn't like rounded, you can do a hinge back. It's a little more forward for me. It feels like more forward for me like that. It just depends on the way that your spine is shaped. Let's do that two more times. One more time, you're gonna hinge or roll back, hold it. And then keep your chest still, just lift your arms for four, three, two, and one. Arms back, roll to sit up. And then we're gonna do a little twisting. Oh, my body is not in great shape from like three weeks off. And now I'm doing that Pilates every day, I'm a little sore. All right, little breath in. Exhale, you'll roll back or you'll hinge back. You're gonna hold it there as you twist, open your arm, come back to center. Twist the other way, opening your arm, back to center. Continuing to alternate like that. Go one more time each way, even though I really don't want to. Back to center, roll this it up right. Let's do like three or four roll downs. If your body doesn't like roll downs or if it's not cooperating with roll downs, you've got like a little cheat. You can use your arms here and kind of walk down as you do that, walk up, or you can just stick with those smaller here to here. So seated upright, you can do legs straight out when you bent, if that's a little tight, little breath in, exhale to roll back. Keep breathing, keep breathing if you're moving slowly. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, you'll roll up. Nodding the chin. Scooping the belly back into the mat. And all the way tall. Again, three. So you got two more. I'm gonna have water because I'm tired. Like trying to see everybody's pace here. We'll call that three. So once you're done with that last one, you guys can sit up right. You're gonna take a little butterfly stretch. So feet together, knees wide. And then you can either pull your feet in a little more for a more inner thigh stretch, or you can keep your feet a little bit further out, press your knees out for a little more of an outer hip stretch. I like doing this in my butterfly stretch, and then leaning over to one side, pressing the other knee away. And I also get a nice back stretch on one side. And then come back up to center. Let's come to a standing position. Walk your feet out a little wider than your shoulders, maybe about a leg's length apart. And then you're gonna come into a squat, taking a bend in your knees. And then walk your hands out so that the um, palms are on your inner thighs. Bend your elbows out to the side so you're a little bit more internally ro rotated with your arms down. As you exhale, you're gonna rotate one way, press into this thigh, roll your shoulder to the floor. As you inhale, come to center. Next exhale, you're gonna rotate. Again, I'm pressing into the thigh a little more. Rolling my shoulder to the floor. Next, inhale up to center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Let's do one more each way. Come back up to center, stand up tall. As you inhale, you're gonna bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, lower your arms to a T. Take a breath in from there, and as you exhale, you're gonna hinge forward, so keep your spine in the same shape. You're gonna to start to hinge. 
at your waist coming into this little star position. Getting your torso as um, parallel to the floor as you can. Little breath in there. Exhale, hinge to stand upright. Again, you're gonna hinge forward. And back up. If that's bothering your back, you can try feet in a little more parallel position. You'll narrow them out slightly. And then just hinge down as far as your back is happy. So you can keep it small. Let's do that two more times. Awesome, then once you guys are up, you can drop your arms down by your side. We're gonna try to get heart rate up just a little bit here. So we'll do, I'll give you guys a couple of options. So you're just gonna either do a squat, this is kind of your less intensive option. You could drop the arms, lift them up. Do your next one. You can keep doing that with your arms, add your toes. Next option. And then if you're feeling really ambitious today, a little jump squat. All right, let's go for 15 or so. Again, this, you've got this, or you've got this, or you've got this. About two more, I think. And then stand up tall. Let's walk your feet in. You're gonna to turn to one side of your mat, one short side of your mat, and then walk your feet out so they're a little bit wider than your, or a little bit longer than like an arm's length. You're gonna square your hips off to the shortage of the mat as much as you can. Bring your arms out into a T-shape. You can always modify by shortening your stance a little bit. You can take a little bit of the knees if that feels better. You're gonna take a hinge forward like you were doing earlier and then you'll hinge back up. Again, hinge forward and back up. As you do that, you're gonna get a stretch and you're actually in this hamstring. You're getting a little bit of glute and hamstring work too. Keep the front of your thighs firm, like you're pulling your kneecaps up towards your hips. Do that one more time, you're gonna hinge, hold it there. If you can, shift your weight forward. You're gonna try to balance on this leg as you walk or step your back leg back. From there, hinge forward. Come into a low lunge. Again, if you can't get hands to the floor like this, you could just stay a little more upright, letting your back knee soften a little. The narrower your stance, the more stability you'll have. So if you feel a little off balance in this wide position, just narrow it out like that. From your lunge here, whatever you're doing with your arms, everybody's gonna come into this position. Again, you can be up here, or even hands on your hips, if the flexibility thing is a little bit of an issue this morning. You'll come back into your lunge and back up. Do that three more times. I'm just checking to make sure my options made sense to everybody. Looks like it. Awesome. Last one. Once you're back in your straight leg position like that, you're going to hinge back up. Pivot to face the front, and then you'll pivot around to the other side. Kind of regretting using this like really squishy mat this morning. <laughs> All right, arms out in a T. And you're going to firm the front of both thighs, hinge forward, and then hinge back up. Again, you'll hinge forward, hinge back up. Two more. One more time, hinge forward, hold it there. Again, you can shift your weight forward slightly, walk, or step your back leg back. And you're going to come into your lunge position, bending the front knee, then you can be back like this, you can be short stance. If you can, you'll bring hands to the mat. And then you're gonna straighten both legs, come back into that hamstring stretch, and then back into your lunge. Again, hamstring stretch, and back into your lunge. Do that. Two more times. From here, hinge up. And then you're going to turn back to the center. Walk your feet in. And then you guys can come to a tabletop position on your hands and knees. Have your hands under your shoulders, wrist creases underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the creases of your hips. And we'll take 
A few cat cows here, cat camels. Inhale, you're gonna arch the spine, stretch your chest away from your sitting bones. Exhale, scoop the belly in, lift through the navel, and you'll round your lower spine. Inhale, you'll arch the back. Exhale to round, scooping the belly in. You guys can keep moving like that on your own breath cycle. Let's do three more rounds of complete breath. Your arch and around there. When you guys finish that last one, just come back to your neutral tabletop position. And then you guys are going to take that um, into a little, oh, somebody calls this sexy cow. I think that kind of caught on a little bit. So you're going to move through side bends. Well, you're not moving your feet. Kind of like this incorporating that into your cat cow. So you're kind of moving, you know, think of moving your head and your tailbone in a circle. Like if you had, for some reason, <laughs> paintbrushes attached to those points in your body, they'd be painting a circle on the walls. So you'll side bend one way, arch through your camel, side bend the other way, round through your cat. I'm just going in the same direction. And then when you finish that last one, switch directions. One more in that direction. Come back to your normal um, tabletop. You can sit back, take a child's pose, or just sit upright and give your wrist a little roll out. All right, let's do a little bird dog next. So from your tabletop position, as you exhale, reach one opposite arm and leg away from each other. Inhale to set down. Exhale, reach the other side. Inhale, back down. Trying to keep your body as stable as you can. You're gonna go one more each way. And then bring your arms and legs back to that same position. Move them away from each other. Bring them to center. Move them away, bring them to center. Trying to keep your body from kind of bending or your hips from swaying. Do one more like that. Bring them back in and then other side. Reach your arms and legs away from each other and center. Away and center. Do three and two and one. Bring them in, set everything down. We'll do that um, cat cow movement with your arms and legs doing uh, opposite arm and leg moving. So as you inhale, bring them back out. Exhale, scoop the belly in around your spine, pull your knee to your elbow. Inhale, go back to neutral. Exhale around. Inhale, neutral. So two more. And then set them down. We'll take the other side. Inhale, reach the limbs out. Exhale, scoop the belly and knee to elbow. Inhale, back out. Two more. Back out, set everything back down. You guys can sit back, take a child's pose one more time, or you can sit up right and give your wrist a little roll out. And then let's come into a plank position on your forearms. So bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. You can do a little prayer hands like this. You can turn your arms so your palms are up, getting your external rotators going a little bit more. You can just let your, the palm of your hand rest on that. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. And as you exhale, step your legs back into a plank position one at a time. 
You want to line your whole body up like you're in your best standing posture. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. And then set your knees down, you can walk them in. We're going to do a little leg lift next. Walk your feet back into your plank position. As you exhale, point your foot, lift your leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, switch. Let's go one or two more each way. Set your feet down, walk the knees in. Take a little break. And then we'll do hip dips next. Walk your feet back out to your plank position. And then you're going to drop one hip towards the mat, lift it up. Drop the other hip, lift it up. It can feel like a nice back stretch if you add just a little flexion at the top. Let's go one more each way. Set the knees down. One more child's pose. And then come back to your tabletop position one last time here. And we'll take a little um, shoulder and back stretch. So let's uh, reach one arm out to a T. You're going to start to thread the needle, try to get under your other arm, bending in that elbow. Until you get your shoulder and the same ear onto the mat as best you can. And then you'll twist the opposite direction. So keep this palm down, press into it. You'll rotate to the ceiling, bringing that same arm that you just thread, threaded up to the ceiling. Then we'll switch sides. Open your other arm towards the T-shape. Thread it underneath you, rotating to that same side. Again, you can rest, try to rest your same shoulder as you're down. Press into your palm, untwist, and then rotate the other direction with your long spine. Set your hand down. Let's set up four sideline legs. So you're going to lay on one side. You can have your head propped up in your hands. You can rest your head down on your arm like that. Let's all start with your knees bent in a tabletop position. You can sweep your feet back slightly, keeping your knees bent at 90 degrees. Keep your hips stacked to make sure you've got a little lift to your bottom waist. So you've got your obliques engaged, clamshell your knee open and close. Clamshell open and close. As you open your knee, you're gonna try to keep your hips stacked so that your top hip isn't twisting to the ceiling as you lift your knee up. Let's go two more. Set your leg down. We'll do um, fire hydrants next. So again, keeping your hips stacked, lift your whole top leg up, set it down. Lift and down. And keeping hips stacked, so you're trying not to let your top hip roll up into the ceiling oh, as you lift your leg. Two more, oh. and one more. We'll do a little external and internal rotation next. So you'll clamshell your top knee open, externally rotating, internally rotate, tap your knees towards each other. Externally rotate, tap your feet. Internally rotate, tap the knees. 
Again, trying to keep your hips stable so that the hip bones here are not rotating or moving in any way. Two more. And then you can drop that top leg down, kick it forward like that. You can hang out here if that's a good stretch, or you can twist towards the ceiling. You can bring your arms into T as long as you have space, which I do not here. So tight. Oh, all right. Other leg, that was like a really graceful way to sit up. Oh, hip stacks, whatever you did with your head on the other side, you can match here. And again, stretch your top hip away from your shoulder. Oh, my bottom hip is tight this morning. Keep your hips stacked, clamshell your top knee open, set it down, clamshell it open, and then set it back up. As you lift your knee, Again, you're going to try to keep your hip from rotating, your hips from rotating to the ceiling like that. Oof. Three more. And then fire hydrant. You're gonna keep your leg in the same shape, lift the whole thing up, set it back down. Lift the whole thing up, set it back down. Tips a little wonky this morning, two more. Oof, it's burning. All right, and then lastly, We've got external and internal rotation here. Oh, so you'll clamshell your top knee open. Internally rotate, tap your knees together. Externally rotate, tap your feet. Internally rotate, knees together. Externally rotate, feet together. Oh, sorry, I lost track of what I was doing here. To here, here, to here. Let's do that two more times. Set your leg down. Again, you're going to kick it forward. Woo! Optional twist towards the ceiling. Oh, man. Woo! Alright, come on your back. Oh, we're gonna take a figure four stretch. So flex one foot, cross it over the opposite thigh. You can stay here and just push your knee away. Oof. Or you can take this guy, grab him behind your opposite thigh. You want to keep this foot, the crossed over one, especially flexed. Try not to cross right on your ankle joint. You can try oh, a little shift <laughs> side to side of your legs. It's just gonna make it a little more intense, just a little. Oof, one more, if you're doing a little shift. Let's switch legs. Oh boy. Again, oh, you can try that little shift of your legs for some extra fun. All right, let's roll on your stomach. Ugh. You lay with your forehead ugh, flat on the mat and your arms straight back by your side. Let's do palms facing up towards the ceiling. Actually, I'm just gonna like talk at you guys so you can hear me and I'm not talking into the floor, but it'll look like this first to start. First thing you're gonna do is reach your arms long like you're trying to touch your toes, roll the shoulders open. So you, <laughs> no, start with your forehead down. And then you'll pick up your gaze straight ahead. 
Keep lifting your chest, stretch it away from your hips, then lift your arms up. And then set everything down, forehead down. <laughs> and you'll reach your arms low, shoulders away from ears. And then you'll pick your gaze up. And then pick the arms up. And then lower. Again, arms long. Lift the head. Pick your gaze up. Lift your chest a little further. Lift your arms up. And then lower it all down. Let's do that two more times. Arms, head, chest, arms. One more time. Reach your arms long, lift your gaze, lift your chest, then lift your arms, and then lower everything down. And we'll take it into a little swimming. I'll give you guys a couple of options here. So you're gonna bring your arms oh, out into a wide V with your palms facing each other so your thumbs are up and feel are down. And then again, you're gonna come into your, um, your back extension, so lifting the head and the chest. And then you'll lift opposite arm and leg, keeping everything as still as you can. If you want a little more challenge, you're gonna come up a little higher, pick up all your limbs, and then you'll flutter. Try to move your limbs oppositely. If they're not moving oppositely, it's fine. You're still getting your core work, having your back core muscles for four. Three, two, and one. Woo, set it all down. And you guys can walk your legs out as wide as your mat. Bend your knees and just sway the legs. Oh, side to side for a little back release. You can do whatever is comfy with your head and your arms. If your head's turned one direction, stop your legs, turn your head the other direction, and you'll keep twisting your legs. And then still your legs, reach them back out. Set your palms down under your shoulders. Ugh. Press yourself up from there. We're gonna take it into some push-ups to finish out. So align yourself, oh, so your shoulders are right over your wrists. Um, you guys have three options here. You've got like a short, shorter kind of tabletop position like this, where you'll be doing this. You can do kneeling plank push-ups, or you can do toes. Knees up. Um, a little bit of turn in your arms so your thumbs are looking a little more towards each other versus straight ahead. And then we'll push up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody's gonna lift their knees up, hike your hips up to the ceiling, kind of like you're going into a down dog position. And then walk your hands back to your feet. Let your head hang. Neck release. <laughs> Take a deep, deep breath in. As you exhale, you'll start to roll to stand. Scooping the abdominals in. Rolling the spine up. One vertebrae at a time. Shoulders, neck, and head stay relaxed. We'll do one more set of push-ups. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to roll down. Nod the chin. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time or hinging down. And if your spine doesn't like flexion, bend your knees a lot, point your hands down. And then you're gonna walk out to your push-up position. Let's start in a plank first, and then you'll stay here, or you'll set your knees down, or you'll walk your knees in. We're gonna go eight more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's all come back to your plank position. Pike the hips up and back into your down dog. Bend the knees a lot. Walk your hands back to your feet. And one more time into that forward fold. You can bend your knees, grab opposite elbow for a little traction stretch. <laughs> you can grab behind your head for a nice um, back of the neck stretch. Sorry, I keep eating my t-shirt and my <laughs> necklace. You can nod head yes or no. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale to roll up. 
We're only at one vertebrae at a time. Oh. Shoulders, neck, and head come up last. Give your shoulders a little roll out. And as you inhale, sweep both arms up overhead. Exhale, lower the arms down. And you guys are all done. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm gonna unmute you guys. Annika, thank you.